Yafeth. Good choice. Yes, Yafeth is pronounced like a Y, even though it's written with a J. All J sounds were more like Y sounds, which is why Americans say Jehovah when Hebrews would say Yahweh. That's why Americans say Jamal when Hebrews would say Yofi. <laughs> Just a cute bit there. Let's see what scripture has to say about Yafeth and see if you can relate. Okay, so we know that after the flood, Noah, his wife, and his sons and his sons' wives all got off the ark and needed to populate. Yafeth is said to have gone north to these regions here. Just look at his family tree. Looks large, but it's actually the smallest of them all. What do all these names actually mean? Good question. All these names have meaning and have reference to what family he started and to what the land was actually like. Let's dive in one at a time. Yafeth's first mentioned son is Gomer. From this one guy came the Samaritans, an Indo-European people. He also produced the Celts, Irish, Scottish, and Welsh people. Next, you have Ashkenaz. Descendants of Ashkenaz are the Germans, specifically. Does the term Ashkenazi Jew mean anything to you? You might know some famous ones. Scarlett Johansson comes from Ashkenaz, Zac Efron, Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, and this guy. Yeah, how sad that he believed his race to be pure when he and many of his persecutees came from the same one guy, Ashkenaz. His very name is a combination of Ashka and Nazi. So much for that race war. Next is Riphath whose descendants make up Turkey, and Togarma's descendants make up specifically Armenia and Georgia. Georgia. Not that Georgia, this Georgia, which is Russia. Georgia. Moving along to Yafeth's second son, Magog, we get the Swedish, the Goths, and also some other parts of Germany. Third son, Madai, became the Medes. The Median Empire became a part of Persia, and that was Shem's people. <laughs> ah, you get it. There was mixing. So much for pure race there. Madai also became the Mitanni people, who were foes of Egypt and also mixed with them sometimes. <laughs> so there was some mixing between Yafith and Ham as well. Lastly, Madai makes up the Kurdish, which is now southeastern Turkey. Western Iraq, Northern Iraq, and Northern Syria. Sun Four's name is Yavan, and he mainly became the Greeks. Look at his children. We have Elisha, who became Cyprus, or Thessaly, Tarshish, which became Carthage, Kittim, who became specifically Larnaca in Cyprus, and Dodanim, who founded the Isle of Rhodes. Son five is Tubal, and he's simple. Italy and Spain. Can you tell? Even the language is similar. All came from the same guy. Son number six name is Meshek. This guy became the Phrygians and also some of the Georgians. At seven is Tiras. He became Thrace. If that sounds familiar, Think of Spartacus. Remember that guy? Yeah, he was Thracian. Of course, Thrace would be modern-day southern Bulgaria, northern Greece, and European Turkey, so he probably looked a little bit more like this. By these men were the Isles of the Gentiles divided, which is the first time the Bible uses the word Gentile, and it refers to Yafis people the Europeans. Although, as we can see, there was clear mixing in here. So even back then, there wasn't a pure race anywhere. That's it on Yafith, folks, the smallest family of them all. But these are his descendants. Do you fall in any of these categories? Click on any of Yafith's brothers here, and you'll find out even more, and get closer to the big reveal. Or, if you've already checked them out, click right here and go straight to that big reveal. 
What will you choose? Time's a-wastin'.